Right, we're not all as lucky to be inside, but uh, thankfully kids are off school today, so they won't have to wait at the bus stop for those cold temperatures. No, it is cold this morning. Not all of us uh, so much, but we want to make sure you're doing what you can to protect your family and your home. Let's go to Sunrise reporter Chris Kirshner. She's live in Noblesville with some simple ways to do just that. Chris, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Bruce. I decided to bring it inside this time. Much warmer, much more comfortable. But there are a few simple things you can do before you head to work to make sure that your house is going to be able to withstand the cold. Some of these you may have heard of, but just good reminders. For example, I'm here in the kitchen at the faucet. This is one of those days they say you might want to leave just a little water running there so you don't freeze those pipes. So I'm going to let that keep running and also open up the cabinet doors underneath the sink. Again, we're letting some of that heat get to the pipes. You might want to do this in your bathrooms as well. Should your pipes get frozen, here's a little trick for you. Something as simple as a blow dryer. You can uh, put on the pipes there, try to thaw them out a little bit. That might help. Uh, so hopefully those won't burst. So let's go on into the other room here. If you have a ceiling fan in your home, okay, this is something I always forget to do. Have you reversed the direction of the blades? That's going to allow some of the heat from your home to come down and make everybody else feel a little more comfortable. So make sure you do that. If you are using a space heater, I'm sure most of you probably have the newer kind. They're a lot safer. However, no matter what kind of space heater you have, make sure it's not near anything that could potentially catch fire. And experts also say try not to use an extension cord if you don't have to uh, with that space heater. Now, if there's not just you and your kids in the family, but you have the four-legged variety, Brianna, thank you very much. Well, this is little Abby, and Abby has on her little sweater. Not all dogs will have those, but she's going to help us show how to keep our little four-legged members of the family nice and warm and safe in bitter cold temperatures like this. And Naomi, will uh, show you a little bit more of Abby coming up in our next hour of sunrise. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. Okay. She's so sweet. You can tell she's nice and warm in your arms, Chris. Thank you.